I am working on my third Steven Universe cosplay for my favorite character, Pearl. To complete my costume, I decided to print out 3D Central's awesome spear model. The parts printed really well on my Ender 3, but I did have two minor problems. On this top part of the blade, the wall of the shaft is too thin due to the pinhole, so when sliced, there's no wall there. Additionally, the base of the pommel is a bit ragged, which requires using a raft to brim. Luckily, I didn't need a bismuth to fix my spear, all I needed was a copy of Blender. Here's the top part of the blade. To fix the wall, I hit all the vertices that weren't near the top of the pinhole. Then I could circle select the outside wall vertices and move and scale it away from the pinhole. I kept exporting and slicing until the wall was filled in. Then I smoothed out the rest of the wall segments. I'm also using a blue pin on this segment, so it stays blue even if the wall fails. The pommel was a much simpler fix. You can see the ragged bottom, which will make the first layer tough to print. I placed a new cube in the scene, scaled it just so it covered up the ragged bits, then used a boolean difference modifier to lop off the bottom. Now its first layer will be smooth. And now to assemble. It mostly fit together well, though I found that I needed to use a rubber mallet to get the pieces to seat properly. If I were building another one of these, I might trim a bit off of the pins and blender to make them slide into the handle and blade pieces a little more easily. Super glue does a lot of the work of keeping the pieces together once assembled. And here it is, a completed spear ready to be used in a fight against Homeworld. Uh, hey Pearl, do you want this back now? I'm kinda more of a shield person. <laughs>